Well, good morning. Man, it's a beautiful morning. You can hear the birds chirping. The sun's coming out, warming it up. We're out in Montana, you guys. Big sky country. And I don't know if you can hear that. There's a little bit of a river over there. So I got here yesterday and just kind of spent the day to myself um, and just had a good time. And now it's the next day and I was just about to make breakfast. So I'll take you guys inside and we can check out the yurt. So we're just gonna hang out, you guys. Have a good time. Have a good old time in the yurt. <laughs> All right, so here is the inside of the yurt. Oh yeah. So we got a nice little table there. We've got our bed and I've got all my camera gear and stuff. Got a little coat rack with a beautiful skylight. Couple of nice windows. And a bunch of chairs and my propane heater. And then here is the cook station. And all my cooking stuff. It's quite spacious in here. A lot of room, but it's kind of cold. <laughs> That's why I had to bring along the uh, propane heater, the Mr. Buddy. We're currently sitting at, it's 49 degrees outside and it's 44 degrees inside here, which is nine degrees Celsius outside and seven degrees Celsius inside. So this was actually supposed to be a fishing trip. So when I planned this, uh, I went ahead and bought my license uh, for two days here in Montana, rented this yurt, and then right before I left, I figured, oh, let me see the regulations of the river. And of course, the river is not open yet. <laughs> uh, silly old me. I go and uh, make plans to do something and I should have known because within the next week this uh, river is open and this yurt was booked out. This was like the only day, couple days that I could get this yurt. So I'm just going to make the best of it. Probably do some carving, some painting, you know, the, the, the kind of normal stuff that I like to do. So let's make breakfast real quick and then we'll go out there and explore and see what this place has in store. Rhyming. Rhyming old thing. All right, let's do it. Oh, in case you're wondering, I'm making stuffed French toast. Vanilla, a little bit of cinnamon. Boy, look at that. Stuffed French toast. I've never had this before. And it looks delicious. I'll tell you that much right now. Let's see what it looks like on the inside real quick. I'll give you guys a 
a little close up. <laughs> oh boy. I think I'm gonna have to run a marathon after this. That looks amazing. Stuffed French toast. Oh man, that is delightful. That is so tasty. That's, that's like French toast times 10 good. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's amazing. That's gotta be one of the best French toasts I've ever made. The cream cheese, the strawberries, it's so fluffy. Oh, this is good. Oh, oh boy. Whew. That's a lot of sugar. I, I can't eat all of it. <laughs> Man, it's tasty, but I'd only do one next time. Definitely not two. Way too much sugar. I'm going to be bouncing off the walls in there. It was delicious though. Very good idea. Very delicious. All right, well, we'll probably go explore real quick. Go check this place out. I did set up the trail cam, so we got to go look at that. See if I caught anything. Otherwise, we're just going to go around and explore. See what this place has to offer. All right, we'll go over here and check that trail cam real quick. See if I caught anything, which I doubt. So it's just right over here. Put it in an area that I saw a lot of tracks, but that doesn't mean that they were new tracks. Okay. Uh, that was probably me coming up to it. And then me testing it. <laughs> uh, nope, just me testing the trail cam. Well, I had to test it because I wasn't sure if it's actually working. So, you know, had to see my, uh, See if I still had my acrobats. All right, we'll take her down because, well, I'm gonna use it in a different spot tonight. See if we can't catch anything. So last night while I was sleeping, I heard a whole lot of commotion underneath the yurt. So I might put the trail cam located next to it this time. I just wanted to have some options last night just in case something came through like a bear. I think it's about time that the bears start coming out too. And I'm definitely in grizzly country. Montana. <laughs> so this really is a nice little campsite. You've got your fire pit right there. And then you've got the yurt. And then... Well, let me put this away real quick. Go inside. We'll set that up again later. So as you exit, over here, this trail takes you right to the river. It's a perfect spot. Beautiful. So this is where I wanted to do some fishing, you guys. I was hoping to come out here just right outside the yurt 
and uh, catch me a fish. Makes me sad. It's my own fault, it's my own fault. If I didn't book the reservation though, I probably never would have got to stay here this year. It looks like it's pretty booked. So there's a trail this way and it leads to some of the other campsites. And they're all pretty nice out here. I mean, it's, it's a really nice place. Especially if you wanted to float the river or anything, you have access. It's really cool. So there's another camp spot. And then another way to the river. Right there. And then there's some runoff going. I can't actually cross this way. Beautiful little uh, stream runoff. This is the kind of stuff I just love. So pretty. Beautiful. Okay, so coming up to the road here in the campground. just awesome. I love it out here. So you've got a uh, bear proof dumpster right there. Then we've got the information board. It's a well set up campground. I really like it here. Going down here, I saw this really cool uh, fire pit right by the river. Check it out. Maybe this is where I come and have my campfire tonight. We'll see, I don't know. I don't know if I wanna pack my wood all the way over here. <laughs> but man, it's gorgeous. Check it out, this is another nice spot right for the river. Man, it's high. Man, that water is moving. So somebody about two days ago lost their life in this. Um, they were on their kayak and they hit some heavy rapids. I mean, the river is really high right now. That spring runoff, it's dangerous, you guys. Uh, so that was a sad story to hear.
All right, there you go. That's my first attempt at a little bird. He's a little chunky, but he's kind of cool. Maybe he's a winter bird, so he put on a little weight. <laughs> now I'm debating whether or not to paint him. I have some stuff to paint, so I might just do it. I just don't want to ruin him. He's just kind of cool. Also, I'm just not sure what color to paint him. What does a winter bird look like? <laughs> Man, I need to eat something. I get so wrapped up in stuff that I don't realize the time. It's 3.30, so kind of missed lunch, but I'll probably have a later dinner. We'll see. You really can't beat just a quick can of chili. All types of good stuff in there for you, right? I've been really liking the stag chili. This is the Silverado beef. Oh, they're just tasty to me. Pretty good. Pretty good. So I was thinking about the bird, and I think I'm going to hold off on painting it for now. Uh, just because I don't know exactly what design to put on him. But I will end up probably finishing him with something. And if you want to see what that looks like, head over to my Instagram page. That's where I'll put it. And it's just bomb underscore outdoors. And that's on Instagram. So head over there, follow me. And... I'll have other updates and things like that that you guys can follow too. So, anyways, he turned out really good. I like him. <laughs> He's my little winter bird. So, note to self when carving wood, don't wear fleece. I can't get it out. <laughs> oh, well, it just adds to the outdoorsiness, you know? <laughs> Okay, you guys, we're out at the falls here, and man, it is crazy.
this river is running really fast and it's super high um, like I said there was somebody that just lost their life on this and I don't know if they tried to run this here fall or what but you got to be careful you guys but man it's beautiful it is really beautiful This is just part of it right here. We'll go over there real quick. that water man I can't believe somebody would actually go down that I don't know if they do in kayak or not but like I said somebody died just uh, the other day here I don't know if it was on this spot of the river but I don't know how you'd survive this I'll look it up. I'll look to see if people do and I'll get back to you guys. That's just insane. All right. Enough exploring for now. <laughs> I'm hungry. Let's get back and make some dinner. Tonight, we're gonna have some barbecue chicken, and it's gonna be so good. All right, we'll let that marinate for a little bit, and then we'll start up the barbecue. Whoo, yeah. Oh, back to my roots. I love the barbecue.
Thank you, Lord, for this food. I just pray you'll bless it to my body. I thank you for just being able to be out here in your beautiful creation. It's so awe-inspiring. I just thank you for that. There are many prayer requests, Lord, that have been brought to me, and, and I just pray that your will would be done with each and every one of them. As things just get crazier and crazier here in this world, I just pray that we will trust in you in all things. Help us to just remember that you are in control, and I just thank you for this time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh, you guys, this looks amazing. That chicken, wow, it turned out mm, delicious, I can tell. <laughs> I'm not even sure how to go about it. I mean, part of me wants to tear it apart, but I'm going to use my knife. Here we go. Oh, look at that. I'm digging right in. Here we go. Oh, that's amazing. That is some of the best chicken I've had right there. I've never soaked it in buttermilk before, and I think that that worked really well. Look at that. That's got a nice flavor, you guys. <laughs> it's a big bite. <laughs> All right, I got my veggies. And of course, the salad. This is a pear gargonzola salad, and it's delicious. Oh, that's good, you guys. That's really good. Well, we got a nice fire going. I like that upside down fire. Super easy to do and it burns for a while. So the plan for dessert tonight is cinnamon rolls. So basically, I've seen people do this. You take the cinnamon roll and you wrap it around your stick and you put it over the fire. <laughs> So I'm gonna attempt that tonight and uh, we'll see see if it works with my luck I'll probably just burn it but that's okay even a burnt cinnamon roll can be good if you put enough like icing on it <laughs> that worked Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. It's got the icing. 
sweet okay so this is one right here so take that out of there What do you think? Is it gonna work? <laughs> this should be fun. I just gotta find a good spot for it. Woo. What some people were saying to do is to get it nice and warm and then put it in some tin foil and it'll continue to bake. So that's what we're gonna do now. Yeah, perfect. Okay, we're getting close. So we'll just let that sit inside there and kind of bake itself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh yeah, she's done. I'm just dipping it in the icing. Mm. Definitely makes for a nice dessert. Man, that was tasty. A little scrumptious little uh, cinnamon roll. I want to make another one, but I don't need another one. I don't need another one. All right, it's time for mail call. <laughs> a lot of you guys have sent me stuff, so, so it's time to dig in. All right, first up, we have a card. This is an Easter card, so this goes back a little ways. Sorry, I'm just getting to it. And it's from Linda Stein. And she left a little gift here too. <laughs> Thank you so much, Linda. Um, I will definitely use this. Definitely use it. Sorry it's taken me a little while to kind of say thank you, but um, when it comes to mail call, I want to make sure I have enough stuff to make it practical. All right, next up. Oh, I got this package from uh, J-Dub Adventures. And he made this. It's kind of hard to tell what it is basically a stove jack for your chimney uh, for my hot tents and J-Dub went ahead and made this so you can put it through and put your pipe through you won't burn your won't burn your tent so that's a really cool design there J-Dub thank you so much for that um, he also sent some stickers and stuff like that too so thanks a bunch man I really appreciate it uh, Hot tenting is kind of uh, going away for a little bit just because it's getting to be summertime. So I'll have to use this next year. Okay, next up. Oh yeah, we've got some coffee. And I already had some of this this morning. This is from Fonzo. Thank you so much, Fonzo. He sent me this uh, Bodhi leaf. Bodhi leaf, I don't know how to say it. El Salvador, I don't know. It's got caramel, hazelnut, and vanilla flavors or notes, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Fonzo. I will be using this a lot because we all know I love coffee. Okay, next up. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. 
This was sent to me by Val. And it's like a cookbook. It's called Off-Road and On the Plate by Val DeSantis. So I was already kind of peeking through this and he's got all types of good information. And then he also has a ton of recipes, which I'm gonna be going through this and checking them out. So that is awesome. Uh, I'm not sure if it's for sale on Amazon or anything like that, but go check it out if it is, you guys. Off the road and on the plate by Val. <laughs> Thanks, Val. Appreciate it. Okay, next up. Oh, I gotta be careful with this one. Here it is. Check this out. Ta da! It's a knife. This was sent to me by Lisa. And it is a. I forget what kind of knife it is. Oh, I can't remember now. Um, I'll put it down here what it is. But this is an Alaskan knife and it is super sharp and I haven't used it yet, but I will. And it's really cool. Just as it's a cool design. So Lisa sent me that. She also sent uh, Shelby a hat and maybe you guys saw that in one of the videos. So thank you so much, Lisa, for that. That's really cool. Actually, I saw that there's a uh, sheath or something you can put this in. So I'm going to buy one of those because it's kind of one of those knives that you don't really have I don't know. It's very sharp. I would hate to cut myself with it. So transporting it, definitely want a sheath. So I'm gonna look into one of those. But that's really cool. From Alaska. <laughs> I forget what it's called. What is it called? I can't remember. Can't remember. All right, last but not least, we've got a another letter. Oh, it's a drawing. Oh, that's right. This is from Kara Jennings. She made me a nice drawing. She made me an awesome drawing. And it is... Wiley! <laughs> I really like this one. It kind of shows all his little ferociousness and uh, how wild his wily hair is. <laughs> Good job, Kara. That is awesome. Thank you so much for that. I'll be putting that on the wall. Well, I think that's it for mail call. So if you guys have anything you want to send me, I don't know if it's a painting, a picture, whatever, uh, you can send it to the PO box and that's down below in the description. So just send it out to me and I will definitely give you a shout out. It might be a while just because I want things to kind of collect before I do it. Um, so once I have enough items, uh, then I can do a mail call episode, I guess. It's a lot of fun, you guys. I really appreciate all the stuff you're sending. Uh, I love the pictures. I love the personalized things, you know. Uh, that's really cool. So it's just another way I like to interact with you. So it's currently 10 p.m. and I'm not even tired. It's actually not really 10 as far as I go because I crossed over one of the uh, time zones. So it's really only nine o'clock at home, I guess. But it's definitely different, jumping ahead of time zone. So it was a really good day today, just uh, carving some stuff and, and running around there. But man, I really wanted to be able to fish and I can't believe that I did that. I should know better than that, <laughs> but that's me. That's me. I got too excited that the uh, little yurt was available, so I jumped on it. But man, I just wanted to get out there and catch a fish. I'm telling you guys, I can catch fish. I really can. <laughs> and I have caught fish before. <sighs> got me reminiscing, wishing I was out there. Oh, man. That's a good looking trout right there. 
Oh, where, oh, where can the fishies be? Come with you guys, yes! Oh, that was fun. <laughs> wow, such a pretty fish. Look at that thing. Got one, guys. Sunfish. All right. Look at him. <laughs> Very cool. Is that a crappie? It is. Yes. We got one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Finally. Finally caught one. <laughs> Woo! Oh, he's much bigger. Look at that guy. Oh, he's much bigger. Crappie. <laughs> Number two. Number two, Mr. Crappie, right there. Look at that fish, guys. Right there. That's what we came here for. There we go, guys. I got one. I finally got one. That is a pan-fried trout right there. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one, kid. What do you think, Pa? All right, let's go for another one. There we go. Yep. It is Tugger, huh? <laughs> is that a Tugger? <laughs> Come on, pull her in. Got him, Jackson. <laughs> you got your first fish. <laughs> that's a good fish. Jackson, that's your first fish. Yep. You see that? Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, buddy, you caught your first fish. What do you think of that? Good job. Just want to show you to all my friends. Look at that cutthroat. Wow. Beautiful fish. Man, he's like growling at me. Woo! All right. See you later. <laughs> yes! Yes! That's two. Reminiscing on catching fish. Oh, what a good time. What a good time. I hope you guys enjoy this stuff. It's fun for me to uh, just goof around. <laughs> All right, it's late. I got to get up early tomorrow, get everything packed up, and I've got a three-hour drive ahead of me. So I'm going to try to get some good sleep tonight, and I'll see you all in the morning. Good night.
Oh, it's a beautiful morning. I love hearing the nature, seeing the sun, and hearing that water rush by. It's just amazing. And I also love coffee. Good coffee, that is. <laughs> Thanks, Fonzo. Well, I didn't sleep too bad last night. I got cold, though. Um, that yurt is like an ice box for some reason. It got pretty cold last night. <laughs> That's okay. I, I survived. I've been in colder temperatures. All right, I need to get something in my belly. And then uh, we got to start thinking about packing up and get out of here. Checkout's at noon and it's already 10 o'clock, so got to hurry up. I've got a three hour drive ahead of me. You might want to look away from this. You got some grass hanging out of your mouth there. Are you going to finish that? Well, I had a few minutes on my hands after breakfast and I wanted to carve up that little owl that you guys have seen and just do it on that uh, fire stick that I was using last night. So I'll leave this here for the next person. They can enjoy that. <laughs> I really enjoy making that little owl. He's really simple. I think that's why I like it. Not too difficult. So somebody else will enjoy this little fire poker. All right, enough goofing around. I gotta get cleaned up, packed up, and get out of here. All right, everything's packed up, cleaned up, and I'm ready to go. Man, what a fun time this was. Such a beautiful place, you guys. I love Montana. <sighs> Just too bad I couldn't do any fishing. That's okay. We'll get one next time. I'll just have to reminisce a little more often. <laughs> All right, I got a three hour drive ahead of me. Once again, thank you so much for watching. 
As always, God bless, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye!